Today we're going to be talking about some awesome news for AMC stock and much more. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of how many shares of AMC you have and then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the growth of the channel. And if you guys want to see our public stock portfolio, you want to see what we're trading in in real time and why, and you also want a free stock that could be worth up to $70 of one of your favorite companies, go ahead and click the first link in the description to get signed up with public. Follow us there at It's Finance Bro and you'll be able to see everything we are invested in. First link in the description. With all that out of the way, let's get straight into our stock for today, AMC. But anyways, let's get straight into our stock for today on AMC. So AMC had a pretty good bounce back day today. We we're up to $33. We're gonna be going over uh, technical analysis as well as some news for today. So if you guys do uh, you know, find that interesting, go ahead and stick around till the end of the video. Uh, but AMC is up a dollar today. At times it was up almost, or uh, sorry, a percent today. It was uh, at times up almost 4%, but it ended out the day on a bit of a down downtrend but uh, that doesn't really matter much but we'll get into that in the technical analysis um, we can see here on the rankings that AMC was the second most active stock today behind Wish, uh, but that kind of makes sense because Wish did tank uh, a lot yesterday as well as today after their terrible earnings call. Uh, I believe Kyle has a video coming out explaining what happened in their earnings call and why they're down so much. Uh, so if you guys were kind of worried about your Wish and you were investing invested in that, then go ahead and watch Kyle's video on that. Uh, but yeah, AMC uh, is down to or, or is up one percent, and it was the second most active stock on stock. Twits today. Not sponsored by Stock Twits. We are sponsored by Public. First link in the description. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get into the news for today. The news for today is that AMC plans to accept Bitcoin for movie tickets uh, soon. Let's go kind of a deeper dive into this and see um, what the heck is even going on here. So during the uh, earnings call that uh, AMC had, and I didn't even notice this because I, I didn't watch the earnings call. I just looked at the numbers. Um, but Adam Aaron, the CEO and AMC chairman, revealed that the cinema operator seeks to accept movie ticket payments in Bitcoin. This adoption of Bitcoin payments for its movie tickets was a grant to customer demand. AMC Entertainment is the largest movie theater firm and cinema operator in America. It was founded in 1920, obviously we already know this. But the America cinema giant AMC Entertainment, and by the way, it's not just in America, AMC is in other countries as well, aims to accept Bitcoin payments for its movie tickets come 2022, which is going to be next year, obviously. Uh, so yeah, basically AMC CEO, Chairman Adam Aaron, uh, made a speech and conference call about the company's Q2 results. He states that during the announcement, he states during the announcement of the uh, Q2 results that the cinema chain plans to secure a Bitcoin payment infrastructure. He added that the infrastructure would accept payments of online movie tickets and Bitcoin by late 2021. So obviously, this is only going to be online, but if you guys are anything like me, I've been buying my tickets ahead of time online. Um, probably for the past couple of years. So that's uh, basically how everyone pays now anyways. You can't pay for Bitcoin obviously in person by like holding up your wallet or whatever, but you will be able to pay with it online. Though there is no detailed information regarding AMC's plan to adopt Bitcoin payments, Adam Aaron, the CEO, reported the customer's strong demand to pay for movie tickets in Bitcoin. The AMC's Q2 results have shown um, significant improvement when it compares to its status last year. It reported $444 million in revenue compared to its second quarter of 2020, which was only $18.9 million, obviously because of the pandemic. The net losses also reduced from $561 million to $349 million, or $5.38 per share to $0.71 per share yearly. So obviously, the, we have already went over how the earnings call was super um, good for AMC but there was uh, obviously some stuff we didn't go over in here. In addition to Bitcoin uh, payment adoption, the American cinema giant AMC has also revealed its plans to expand its business. They have decided to open over a dozen branches across Europe, the Middle East, and the United States this year. So um, obviously this is some super exciting news for um, AMC and Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin obviously running up a lot in price right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy about that. Let us know if you guys want to make us, uh, if you want to to make crypto videos as well um, 
but obviously AMC getting into Bitcoin is super huge for both Bitcoin and AMC. They then go over Adam Aaron's uh, entrance interest towards Bitcoin and apparently he had only heard about cryptos a week before um, their acquisition of ARQIT. That was after he was elected a member of um, that board on May 6th. So he obviously hasn't known about Bitcoin for a while, but he definitely adopted it really quickly because of all the retail investor sentiment around, uh, you know, people wanting uh, bigger companies to be uh, accepting Bitcoin as kind of cash, basically, uh, or a way to pay for something. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that is all for this uh, uh, article that we have, but super, super awesome news that I didn't even, uh, since I didn't watch the whole earnings call, I didn't actually catch this. Uh, so if you guys already caught this, you guys already know about it, uh, that's cool, but I didn't know that AMC was planning to actually accept Bitcoin in 2022, so that's super awesome. But now we can get into everyone's favorite part of the video, which is going to be the technical analysis portion of the video. Uh, so obviously AMC did break the Thor $31 support that I thought was so huge for them, uh, but they have actually um, kind of done very well over the past couple of days since their earnings call. Um, since they had a positive earnings call, obviously they sold off um, after being up so much in the pre-market, up to $38. They sold right off to um, about $29, um, meeting that new support line, but we have bounced off that $29 support line uh, very well. And over the past couple of days, we have been doing very, very solid. So um, I've drawn new support and resistance lines. So we have a, a, a sort of a resistance at $38 now. Uh, if we could break that, that would be super huge. We can make a, um, you know, new bullish trend. Uh, but hope all we have to do is keep that $29 um, support line also. So support at $29, resistance at 38, whatever it breaks first, sadly will probably form the new trend for uh, at least the next week after it um, breaks one of these uh, levels. I know this is a pretty, um, you know, high support and a high resistance, uh, but it's just where we're at right now. I mean, you could see a little bit of a resistance at the 3450 line. Uh, you could also see a little bit of a resist or a support at the $31 line. Uh, but at the end of the day, AMC has very, very large swings, and that's why I can expect AMC to maybe test this $38 line, uh, come back down to support. Um, there's just a lot of volume, and short sellers and retail investors are kind of just bad battling it out at all times with AMC. Um, so I just see it, you know, kind of bouncing between 38 and 29 for a while until it breaks one and forms that new trend. Um, but yeah, if we could uh, open above $33 next week, that would be super awesome and would kind of signal to me, hey, maybe we're going to start a bullish trend for this week. But if we're um, kind of opening at uh, down at maybe 31, 32, that'd be a little bit, make me a little bit pessimistic for the week. Uh, but you know, there's always time to bounce back. You never know what's going to happen with AMC stock. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this situation. Do you think that AMC invest uh, or letting people pay in Bitcoin is a good thing? Uh, do you think that they are just trying to be hip? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Let me know how many shares of AMC you have. Um, and this is just for fun. I'm not a hedge fund. Um, but yeah, and also if you guys found any value with the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the growth of the channel. Thank you guys all so much for 10k uh, YouTube subscribers. My name is Zach and I hope to see you in the next video.